five things to think about if you want to start your own YouTube channel. Welcome to this video. My name is Robert Roth and all my career I made, I turned my passions into my income and this channel is all about how you can turn your passion into your business and grow it online. This video is all about starting a YouTube channel. Five things you definitely should think about because if you think about them you might make a decision not to start a YouTube channel or you might actually be more convinced and know it's the right thing to do to start a YouTube channel or you might know when it might be the right time for you to start your YouTube channel. All right, let's dive into the first one. Are you actually, do you like to talk? Let me put it like this. And do you like to talk to a camera? Because <laughs> I'm not seeing you, I'm seeing a camera when I'm talking to it. And a lot of people, they actually have a fear of talking into a camera because other people are seeing you. So if you talk to a camera, other people will see you on YouTube. Do you want that? Do you feel comfortable with it? If not, think about it. Is it something you want to feel comfortable with? Then, okay, go ahead. It, it might be a good training. If you don't have a problem with talking, but don't want to be seen, there's also possibility to create a YouTube format where you have video clips, clips or photos or PowerPoint on the screen instead of your, your face. <laughs> Still, for some people, it might be a better choice to start a blog or do um, Facebook marketing, for example, Instagram marketing, and do a lot of writing instead. Reason number two or thing number two to think about. YouTube is different than other channels. Like, it's different than Facebook, it's different than Instagram, different from TikTok, different from LinkedIn. Why and how? Facebook, etc. How do you use it? You're on your phone and you scroll through the feed and you see all the messages from your friend. You see some advertisement in between and that's not how YouTube works. YouTube is a search engine. And <laughs> a lot of people don't understand it, but building a YouTube channel means you should understand what search engine optimization is and that YouTube channel is the second biggest search engine in the world. So it's owned by Google. And um, you have to know how search engine optimization works. It, for example, just to give you a quick, quick idea, it works based on keywords, for example. And what is a keyword? A keyword would be, um, okay, for example, phone. That could be a keyword, it's just one word. Samsung phone, Samsung Galaxy S, I'm not naming a specific one, black color. So that would be Samsung Galaxy, the model name, color. That would be, let's say you have that all lined up as one word, then it's also a keyword. It's a so-called long tail keyword. And the question is, what are your customers typing into the YouTube search bar? And you should know what they are typing in there and you should use these same keywords or phrases in your video, in your video, video description, in the title, in um, there are more and more different places. Like YouTube is actually also reading what you are talking. So there's a transcription automatically generated by YouTube and YouTube is reading it and finding the keywords in there, yes or no. So you have to treat it as a YouTube, as a search engine instead of <clears throat> like just something where you post info. The reason number four or thing number uh, three, sorry, thing number three to think about is it's not a short term invest. It's a long term invest to build a YouTube channel. What do I mean by that? On other channels, like for example, on uh, LinkedIn or on, I have, to, I have to say, if you're not running ads, so it's a long term invest, especially if you're not running ads. But let's say on, on Facebook, it's kind of possible and easy also to get customers pretty quickly if you know how to do that organically. On YouTube, maybe not so. And the reason is, 
or one of the reasons is it takes time to actually build the followership, like to get more views by the channel. And who is deciding that? YouTube is deciding that by its algorithms. And um, <laughs> to grow your followers, it might take you not weeks, but months. And we're not talking about one month, two months, three months. We're more talking like about 10 or 12 months until YouTube starts to give you more exposure so more people could see you and you can actually grow your youtube channel so from zero followers to whatever 10,000 followers for example it might take you from zero to the first 500 followers it might take you half a year it might take you 10 months because you're earning like five followers a week three followers a week seven a week whatever that's kind of the speed in the beginning speed of growth and then only after like most for most channels that's what's what's the truth after like 10 12 months that curve starts to go up so you have to be willing to go that distance and you can make a decision if you're willing to or if you're not willing to or it depends on your goals what are the goals you want to reach is that suitable yes or no also point number four you should think about it's more it's more work than you think <laughs> it really is you have to figure out enough topics no matter if you're posting one video a week or two videos a week or three videos a week the more videos the more work it is of course but let's say you're only posting two videos a week that's resulting in more than 100 videos every single year that you're gonna post because it's really important that you're doing it every single week same day same time video goes online and um that the algorithm needs that also so <laughs> you have to prepare each video you have to find figure enough topics so what are you going to talk in the video um how are you going to dress where are you going to put the camera um are, have you checked that the camera is actually filming have you checked your your microphone equipment is it actually recording yes or no and um Maybe if you're filming outdoors, maybe if it's raining, you can't do it today, you have to do it another day. Then you have to cut the videos, you have to upload the videos, you have to put all the settings on YouTube, etc, etc, etc. It's a lot of work. And if you can do that and you want to do that, great, but I would not recommend that. I'm not doing all of this. Like I have, I'm very fortunate to have a team that is actually helping me with editing, with putting it on the platforms, etc, etc. I would not have the time to do so. My focus goes somewhere else in the business. So you have to really, really put that into consideration. Then also point number five to think about. You need some equipment. Of course, you might read out there on the internet, yeah, you don't need equipment, just use your phone. I think a bit differently about it except maybe you have a really really good iPhone with a really really good camera and you know how to set up the lighting and everything to make it look good and maybe you invested in an extra microphone so the sound quality also goes up and um, something like this okay but uh, an iPhone costs money it's like if you have a let's say this is a, a cheap Samsung phone it's not cheap but let's say it's, well, it's a cheap one and it cannot deliver that quality of video Ah, people are expecting a certain quality out there on YouTube already. So you need to invest in some equipment if you don't have it already. So let's say if you have invest $1,000, $1,500, then you can at least buy a camera that gives you decent quality or um, like a, a Canon camera like I have here. You, you get the right lenses also for it. You invest into a microphone that is already an entry-level professional microphone and also the recording device all of that trust me it makes a huge difference in quality and i would recommend definitely invest into that from day number one and figure out how you can make it work so that the quality comes out that it actually can deliver it's something i'm still working on because it depends on how the sun comes down uh, what time of the day it is etc etc i still can get better results by gaining more know-how but these are all things you have to actually think about so these are the five points you definitely should think about before you start in your youtube channel and um, yeah do you speak do you like to speak to a camera and actually also do you like to sh share information through that channel are you aware that youtube is a search engine <laughs> and it works differently from facebook and other social media channels are you aware that it's a long-term investment and not a short-term invest? Are you aware that, you, that it's more work than you think? And are you aware that you actually need to invest into entry-level professional equipment at least in order to 
be able to deliver the right quality. Think about all of these five points and um, maybe that has helped you to make the decision already. <laughs> if not, then I still hope this has helped you to make a decision when you want to, when, want to start your channel or maybe not to start it or you can make the decision later based on that information by thinking it through in more detail. Down there, there are comments. Just leave me a comment if you have any questions to it. I'm going to answer all of them. Just, of course, feel free to subscribe my channel. You'll find more information about marketing, about building a business and about personal growth for online marketers, online business builders. This is all for you. Looking forward to helping you. Cheers, Robert. <laughs>